Hello, what's up everyone? Uh, today our topic is about reverb. Um, this is our fifth um, episode on our beginner's guide on setting up your effects pedal. My own definition of reverb or the reverb effects is how the sound um, bounce back in a certain space. Like for example, room you're in inside a certain room and you play an instrument or you sing and uh, reverb is how uh, the sound goes around in that room and so speaking of room there are uh, certain types of reverb one is room the other one is hall uh, you got church so they emulate the sound of your voice or instrument uh, in a church um, arena and then plate and spring when I was new in uh, playing guitar the amp that we were using got a spring reverb and when you move the amp by accident the spring um, sort of um, vibrates and you can hear it so that's uh, my first sort of encounter with the reverb uh, effects. Right, so much for the backstory. Um, my only reverb pedal is this one, Eno. Um, it's got room, spring, and well. Those are the, th the three. Uh, room and spring and well. Okay, those are the three modes for this and I'll put the link uh, in the description box. I've reviewed this and demoed this one. Um, so reverb can be from a subtle um, reverb to an overdue reverb. Uh, you can use it uh, um, when you play blues, rock, or if you put it like an extreme or overdue with your reverb it's more of a gospel worship um, sound and if you're into that kind of music you'll probably need two to three um, reverb pedals so that you don't keep going uh, down and tweaking it means that from subtle reverb then you press another one to a more prominent reverb and then press another one so that it will sound more like a um, ambient or like a deep uh, sounding reverb like you're in a cave or something I, it's hard to explain but yeah it it adds like a different tone to your music and obviously with your reverb if you pair it with a certain amp and a certain guitar then it becomes more beautiful because if you just use reverb and your guitar is just plain sounding without the color of the amp then um, it will um, make your guitar sound nice but not so colorful when you use certain amps Vox makes your guitar sounds really nice and then you add reverb and you can say that oh i can play this guitar forever um fender as well is quite good when you add reverb um and obviously any amp that you sort of tweak or that matches the tone of your guitar would do right so much for the story I mentioned for uh, earlier about the spring reverb for those who doesn't have reverb pedal and it so happened for example you got the Mosky um, DTC I made a video uh, on how to uh, make the sound of your delay pedal into like a spring reverb so you can uh, use a delay pedal and convert it or tweak it into a reverb pedal um, I'll put the link in the description box as well for that one on how to 
uh, convert your delay pedal into a reverb pedal so we're gonna focus on our Digitech RP55 I'm gonna browse the reverb in that pedal and then we'll move on to our zoom pedals uh, the zoom G14 and zoom G1X on and explore their uh, reverb pedal and try to combine the two pedals it's my first time to combine these two pedals um, but that's initially the plan actually that's why I bought the G14 because I was really planning to combine the two pedals and do an experiment on the sound of the two pedals so we'll try that and see you in a bit
so that's it guys um it was quite a long um video and actually we didn't even cover everything but i hope you pick up something i hope you learn something from that presentation and um i discovered that if you put the values especially with the digitech rp55 like in the middle like five six it's good for like um reggae and then if you push it to seven eight it can be used as acoustic um jamming and if you uh, put it especially the plate and um, arena is good for gospel or worship music and some blues players uh, are really fun of um, reverb uh, and also jazz uh, players they don't really use so much effects apart from a bit of overdrive or from the amp they just use the, the amp the gain level and the reverb of the amp so if you're into those kinds of genre reverb is very helpful um, with pop music there's a reverb as well but some of them uses modulation so we'll get into that in uh, the future uh, posts that i'll be doing so that's it for now good night everyone and God bless. Bye.